One of the most highly anticipated Wii titles of the summer, Wii Sports Resort. In Let's Just Play, we'll do video game reviews, random demonstrations, and Let's Plays. But enough about that. On with the review. Wii Sports Resort is the awesome sequel of the very popular original Wii Sports, released with the Wii. Wii Sports consisted of five games. Tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. Most of the time, though, people just ended up playing tennis and bowling. But Wii Sports Resort offers over twice the amount of sports. You'll be hard pressed to find a sport that doesn't suit you. This game is bundled with Wii Motion Plus, an attachment for your Wii Remote that offers precision control. Whatever you do in real life will be reflected in the game. So if you suck in real life, you're probably gonna suck in the game too. The game's storyline goes as follows Wii Sports Resort starts you off by jumping out of a plane. While skydiving, you are taught the basics of Wii Motion Plus. Once you're close enough to the ground, you're greeted with a cheesy opening. This is where the real game begins. The resort in Wii Sports Resort is simply called Woohoo Island. Woohoo! <laughs> Play on words. Next is the sports selection screen. From here, you can choose from a variety of 12 sports. Swordplay, wakeboarding, frisbee, archery, bowling, golf, table tennis, basketball, power cruising, canoeing, cycling, and air sports. Each sport has a sub-menu. For instance, if you choose basketball, you can either play in a three-point contest or join a three-on-three pickup game. So really, there is a lot more to this game than meets the eye. One of the most exciting sports in this game is swordplay. This is where you really notice the accuracy of Wii Motion Plus. In the first mode, Duel, you duke it out with your opponent using a sword. Obnoxiously waggling the remote will get you nowhere in this event. You require a lot of skill and timing if you want to knock your opponent off the edge. The next game is Speed Slice, where you can develop your skills and make more accurate strikes. This is the true test of quick reflexes. The last game for swordplay is Showdown which is a game in and of itself. Ah, showdown. If there was a word to describe this game... Awesome! It is pure awesome. Showdown has you fighting your way through countless levels where you have to mix blocking and attacking all while getting attacked from all angles. But unlike the dual mode, you have a health bar. If you get hit three times, you die! If you're like everyone else, this mode will keep you busy for a while. But don't you wish there was some sort of game that allowed you to just explore the island freely? Well, Nintendo delivers once again by giving us the game Island Flyover. Island Flyover is, I think, one of the stronger titles because of its simplicity. Very similar to skydiving, your Wii Remote is your plane. But this time, you can speed up, do a barrel roll, or you can even shoot lasers or fireworks. Neato! Throughout the island, your main objective is to find as many information balloons as possible. By hitting these balloons with your propeller, you can get a fun fact about your location. Now don't get me wrong, we're having an awesome time here on Nuku Island. You're not alone there, sacky old pal. <laughs> but there are some low points to this game, such as... <laughs> Cycling. Cycling. This is, well, black. This is mostly due to the fact that it doesn't utilize Wii Motion Plus at all. To pedal, you simply frantically wiggle the Wii Remote and nunchuck up and down throughout the whole race. I don't really get it. And don't quote me on this, but didn't somebody working on the game say specifically, only do what's natural? It's, well, I paddle a bike with my feet, but, well, this just doesn't come that natural. Alright, so we've reviewed some of the best, we've reviewed some of the worst, but now it's time for the pinnacle of every game review, the overview. 
Well, to put it flat out there, Wii Sports Resort is mostly a party game. Some of the sports, such as canoeing, just aren't as fun without a buddy. Wii Sports Resort does really pack a lot of opportunity for singular play, but for the most part, it's just a multiplayer game. And now, this game's LJP Ring. This game's LJS rating is... 9! This game is a must-have for any Wii owner. If nothing else, you get a free Wii Motion Plus out of it all. <laughs> Wii Motion Plus is a huge leap in the Wii's interface. It completely engrosses you in the game, responding faithfully to your every move. Some of the games can lack a bit, but for the most part, it's stellar performance. Well, thanks for watching our review, and I'll look for a Let's Play coming up in the near future. LJS, out!